Okay guys, it is 10.43 p.m. and I am normally actually in bed by this time, but it's just one of those nights I just stayed up and on the weekly menu for this week, I wrote that on Wednesday morning, we were gonna have oats overnight. And so obviously you have to make that ahead of time. And I really wanted to film this because this is literally my favorite oats overnight mix. I've definitely done a bunch of different types with like strawberries, blueberries, and just a lot of different like names to them. But this one is the Snickers Overnight Oats. It's the best one. Fight me, I don't care. It's literally the best. If you are a huge Snickers fan like I am, that's like my favorite chocolate candy bar or whatever, then you will love this. It's like so good. And I'm just gonna make it obviously really quick. Yeah, let's make it. Okay, so I am gonna make it for me and Matt and for the kids because we all love it. We also are gonna have like eggs and stuff like that in the morning. So this is just kind of like not gonna be the only thing, but um, let me just do one bowl's worth. So far, so says the base recipe is one cup of oats in general. So one cup. So I'm gonna make two because I'll definitely split it between us and the kids. One tablespoon of chia seeds. Half a cup of plain Greek yogurt. I don't normally get Greek yogurt a lot, but I got it specifically for this week. Normally in oats overnight, I haven't really put yogurt in it, but this makes it taste so creamy. So I really like that. One cup of milk, and so we use this Chobani oat milk. This is one of the things I get from Target. They have um, oat milk at Aldi, but I don't love it. I, I will say I don't love it, but I might try to get back into it just because it's so convenient getting everything in one place. <laughs> one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So this is half, so I'll do this twice. And then two tablespoons of maple syrup. So this is my favorite maple syrup. I get this from Target as well. It's so liquidy and good. I mean, granted, it's still syrup at the end of the day, but I still love it. One, two. So that is the base for every oats overnight recipe that is on her website. So now I'm gonna go to the Snickers one. So Snickers, you add two tablespoons of peanut butter. Okay, I'm actually gonna, it says two tablespoons of peanut butter, but I'm gonna put one because I feel like we're not huge on peanut butter. Like, I mean, I, I like it for the Snickers aspect, but I think one is definitely good enough. Okay, one tablespoon of chopped peanuts. So I have peanuts right here. So I don't really know how to chop them very well. So I just kind of use the bottom of this. I'm actually gonna add this at the end though because I don't think my kids will like these in there as much. Okay, I'm gonna add this at the end. One tablespoon of mini chocolate chips. So, I love chocolate. So I'm not gonna do one tablespoon, so I'm just gonna add some. Okay, and then optional is one tablespoon of maple syrup. Let me mix it first. Look at that, oh my goodness. So I'm gonna add a little bit more maple syrup just because I think rem I remember last time I did. Maybe not. Okay, so now I'm gonna separate it um, for the kids as well because they really like this too. Okay, and then I'll sprinkle a little bit of peanuts. Not too many because it's kind of overwhelming. And then a little more chocolate chip. Oops. Okay, so don't judge. I made mine super big because I remember last time I ate mine throughout the entire day. It was like, I love snacks throughout the day. And so this was something so good to just munch on like throughout the day. So yeah, now I'm gonna just put these in the fridge, but let me cover them first. So I have a bunch of little covers, like this one fits like that, this one 
bits like that. And then this, these are little like silicone covers. They actually work really well. I mean, some of them aren't the exact size, but yeah. I'm going to pop this in the fridge and then tomorrow morning, you know, I'll mix it back up, taste test it. And then I'm also going to make what I call circle eggs. You'll see in the morning, my kids love it. They're basically just French toast, but I cut them into circle shapes. But um, yeah, I'll see you in the morning and it is almost 11, so I gotta go to bed. All right, good night and see you tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next morning, 8.24, and we are going to look at the oats overnight. I'm so excited, I'm so in the mood for them. Ta -da! Whoa, so it was like really liquidy before, but now it's nice and thick. Oh my gosh, looks so good. Mommy, can I have some? Yes, of course, baby. Ooh, it looks really yummy. <laughs> All right, let's do a taste test. Everyone already started eating them. Let's try. Oh my gosh. Yes. This is it. This is it. Oh my goodness, guys. It's so good. And it's so hefty. Like, honestly, we could probably just eat this. But like I said, I like to eat this kind of throughout the day. I will put it back in the fridge. But I am still going to make, because I like to do sweet and savory. So I like to make what I call circle eggs. So basically, growing up, sometimes we would get a slice of bread, take a cup, make a hole, put it on the pan, put the egg in the hole, and then blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I did that for our kids once, and they really just liked the little circle that was cut out, covered in the egg, instead of like the bread with the egg thing. So then I just decided to just make a bunch of circles instead of one circle. So this is our champagne glass from when we got married. It's the perfect size for this. And so basically I just make a bunch of circles. <laughs> Kids love this for some reason. I mean, I get it. It tastes, just tastes yummier in the circle. And you're probably wondering what do we do with all that crust? Um, we eat it. We just put it in the egg mix as well. Try to get as much as I can. And then... So there you go, a bunch of circle eggs. So I'm probably gonna speed this part up while I eat. Mm. Okay, so I'll probably make more, but I literally just make this kind of like you would just French toast. But instead of like cinnamon and milk, like milk and cinnamon, I'll put milk and then I'll put things like obey, garlic powder, and onion powder. Okay, so I just made the little egg mix and now I'm going to, I'm not gonna douse them in because last time I did that, they came out super soggy. Oh yeah, I did this for a video already, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of lightly Okay, so these look pretty good and golden, so I'm just gonna, I don't want them to get too like burnt or crusty. Put these crusts in the eggs. So I'm just waiting for they cool off, okay baby? The crust is actually, in my opinion, it actually kind of tastes a little better. Enough egg for about one left. All right, so it's just one. Because that oatmeal is so filling, I'm telling you. And then let me do a taste test with this. Mm. 
It was very good. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This was mainly the oats overnight, but we just always do something a little bit saltier or sweet, savior, savory on the side. And yeah, I hope you guys make it and let me know if you do and enjoy it. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.